Hi, this is Ruth from Retrofit Pilates. I am the education coordinator here and a master instructor. And today we have the lovely Karen, who is going to help me demonstrate uh, a few things. So this is a progression that is gonna help to um, build strength and stability in Karen's upper body. And it would be a progression for any kind of planking activity that we might do. So we're just gonna start with a nice neutral spine. So her ears are gonna draw up so that they're in line with her shoulders. Um, and maybe thinking of drawing an apple, holding an apple under your chin. She's gonna think of just gently puffing up into my hand a little, but then also thinking of opening her collarbone so we have a nice balance between the front and back of the body. We're keeping the nice neutral curve of her low back and her tail feathers are out the back. And we're just gonna breathe here and you can do a nice sort of diaphragmatic breath. So you can think of filling the whole torso with air, front side and back and then gently drawing it in without changing the shape of your spine. So this is our kneeling abdominal breath. That's it. And then keeping that nice breath going and that connection, we're just gonna bring the shoulder blades together and drop your chest slightly forward. So you can go a lot, you can go right down, that's it. And then we're gonna puff that out and push into your hands and really round out that upper back, that's it. And then do that again, so this is your sternum drop where we're pulling the shoulder blades together and then we're sending those shoulder blades apart. Good, so ideally we want that nice position in between. So let's see if we can find that again. So you're gonna press into your, my hand, but you're gonna open up those collarbones. That's it, beautiful. So keeping the breath and keeping that, we're gonna do a variation of opposite arm to leg with just the leg. So Karen's gonna lift just her leg into the air and bent, um, facing, yep, yeah, foot facing the ceiling. And instead of just doing a leg straight out, we're gonna do a nice round circle out and around and back in. So let's take your leg out to the side and around and back. And we're gonna see if we can keep that nice long spine as neutral as possible, thinking of balancing something here. So you can give me a little less range maybe, there you go. And I want a little extra weight into your arms so that you feel the work up here. You can puff out just a little bit more there, that's great. So we're feeling a ton of abdominal strength here and upper body, hopefully. Yes? Yeah. Awesome. Reverse, go the other way. Great. Let's maybe do two more there. Awesome. Getting a little inner thigh as you come down. Good, place your foot down, take a breath. Let's do the other side. You can take a break if you need to. Good, and then we're just going out and around and back in, and again, we're gonna draw a little bit of attention to the pelvis. I've got a very light spring on here, so you can hear that sometimes the carriage bounces a bit, and that just gives Karen a little bit of an idea that she's moving, which is okay. Open those collarbones and puff out, that's it. Have you reversed already? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Good student. <laughs> Maybe that's the last one. Bring it back down, take a breath. That's great. And then because we're on the reformer, let's just progress this to your kneeling abs facing front. So you're just gonna keep your shoulders over your wrists. All of those opposing muscle groups are gonna work. We're gonna give a little glute squeeze to slide your thigh bones back and a little lift of the abdominals. And then we press back out, that's it. Still thinking of puffing out and finding that serratus and the lats, the arms are working. A little draw in one more time. That's it, great, and come on back in, and that is your progression for plank from your sternum drop and abdominal breathings on all fours and your opposite arm to leg reach. Thanks very much for watching. Woo!